Hello everyone, greetings from Digital Network Solution. This is me Gopal Pan, Business Development Manager here at DNS. We have come up with this new video series called Tech Talks, where we will be only talking about technical topics. So for this particular video, we have uh, selected one of the hot topics of today's IT market, which is hyperconverged infrastructure. And uh, being an IT service providing company here in Nepal, we would love to let you know more about this new technology HCI, Hyperconverse Infrastructure. And for the same purpose, we have uh, Mr. Arun Khatri, our sales and operation hair, head here at DNS. So let's welcome him. Hi, Arun. Hi, Gopal. So uh, you got to know the main agenda of today's yes. video. Yes, yes. Right, uh, the HCI. Yes. Uh, the Since you, you talk about HCI, right? I would uh, love to talk about the multi-cloud, multi right? so, mm -hmm. which is HCI 2.0. Okay, so yep. it's beyond HCI. It's beyond HCI, yes. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, tell, us, uh, tell us and our viewers more about what actually is HCI and how does it help? And uh, yes, uh, the infrastructure modernization part, how does sure. it help? So let me let me take you through the you know, traditional uh, uh, infrastructures, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The uh, traditional, I would say, mm -hmm. right? In traditional, uh, so the major requirement of the uh, customers, right? Mm -hmm. Which is the applications and which should be the topmost priority uh, 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 or focused, focused part, focus part of the uh, yeah, customers. Because the right? underlying infrastructure has yes. been a commodity. Yes. Right? And uh, for uh, applications, they must be needing lot many servers, databases, applications, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to achieve that, uh, there is something called uh, virtualizations, mm -hmm. right? Virtualizations. And like the ones we have been using VMware, VMware, Hyper-V, yeah, Citrix virtualizations, yeah. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the virtualizations would be needing like uh, the customers would be needing like compute memory, right? Mm -hmm. Which is uh, uh, servers, yeah, servers, right? right servers, right? right? Mm -hmm. And to connect the multiple servers, uh, uh, there would be a requirement of SAN switches, switches. right? Uh, which Storage is called network uh, network SAN network, network. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So this is what uh, the traditional uh, infrastructures mm -hmm. looks like, right? Mm -hmm. So in order to manage this uh, traditional infrastructure, yes, right? storage. Uh, this is uh, storage and SAN switches, right? This is the SAN okay. network and this is the storage, storage right? Yeah. Storage, right? Storage controllers. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, to manage the uh, traditional infrastructures, uh, mm -hmm. there should be a storage guy who knows uh, mm -hmm. much about storage, okay. Okay. SAN network guy, and mm -hmm. server guy, so, and virtualizations guy, okay. right? Okay. So, four people are needed, right? Mm -hmm. So, which is like... So, the architecture is like siloed architecture. Yes. Yeah. Right? Lots of so, silos. So, uh, yeah. uh, the... Uh, now, uh, we are now talking about the HCI, HCI. right? Uh, Hyperconverged, right? So, yes. how does hyperconverged help? Is like hyperconverged consolidate everything into the one turnkey solution, right? Okay. Which okay. come up with uh, pre-installed, uh, or you can install on uh, any servers, any traditional x86, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, any uh, uh, you know x86 servers. servers. On mm -hmm. top of it, you can install the HCI mm -hmm. software, mm -hmm. and uh, you can still do the uh, virtualizations, right, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, run your applications, right. Okay. So, which uh, like. Mm -hmm. Uh, breakdowns like you know which minimized your uh, storage mm -hmm. which comes along with the mm -hmm. x86 servers mm -hmm. right SAN network itself and the mm -hmm. server and uh, replacement of the server itself right so okay. this is how uh, mm -hmm. all about the mm -hmm. hyperconverged infrastructures so so is it only about these three layers which uh, HCI converges or is it also the virtualization layer? okay well that's a very good question right so uh, uh, we we are now talking about the I mean we are working closely with the Nutanix Mm -hmm. If in case okay. of Nutanix, uh, including virtualization, everything mm -hmm. consolidated and comes mm -hmm. with the uh, okay. turnkey solutions as a bundled package. As a bundle package, virtualization is also there. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. So as you said, uh, the storage and and servers they are uh, they have to be ma uh, managed by different administrators. Uh, so going with HCI, uh, is it? Uh, uh, possible to be managed by a single administrator? Yes, or? yes. It will be gonna be like a single uh, pan of glass, mm -hmm. right? 
uh, from where you can manage your storage, you can manage mm -hmm. your servers, mm -hmm. you can manage your visualizations. Mm -hmm. On top of it, okay. uh, you can bring the cloud-like experience in your data centers, which okay. like cloud is nothing uh, which is you know automation and orchestrations, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the uh, Nutanix, which we are talking about HCI, right? Mm -hmm. So that brings the automation and orchestrations uh, to your data centers right? as well. Okay. As well. Yeah. So basically, the public cloud-like features are brought into our own data centers. Yes, this is what the like okay. you know. We are uh, sitting in Nepal, and then mm. cloud adoption is very, very less, right? Yeah. And yeah. also uh, the compliance, uh, does compliance not allow us. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, my perception is, if you have to uh, be successful on your digital transformations, mm -hmm. either you uh, go for cloud, public mm -hmm. cloud, or you bring public cloud in your data centers, right? Okay. So uh, the second options I would prefer seeing like compliances and mm -hmm. so other regions, mm -hmm. right? So mm HCI -hmm. uh, would help to bring the cloud-like experience. Okay. In the data center. Okay. So, uh, talking about uh, bringing the public cloud uh, features into our data center, so is it uh, the only factor uh, that can help us through this journey, or uh, are there any other uh, solutions, features? as well which okay. we need since I, I i said like you know in the beginning i said uh, about the multi cloud right and yeah. uh, beyond hci, beyond said, HCI yeah, right? we, we talked about the uh, beyond hci right mm -hmm. so uh, if you talk about beyond hci right so we need to understand the mm -hmm. workload right so okay. uh, what kind of workload we are uh, bringing kind let's of say for example application services yes yeah, we are let's working. say for examples you know database right mm -hmm. so uh, only HCI doesn't help to automate your databases, right? Okay. Provisioning, managing, you know, mm -hmm. pass management, right? So uh, there is something called in Nutanix. There's something called ERA, right? Okay. Which okay. helps to automate your database, mm -hmm. uh, uh, provision, patch, you know, back mm -hmm. backup management, right? Uh, okay. Another would be, let's say, for example, applications automations, which is mm -hmm. like. Uh, entire uh, applications you can uh, uh, life cycle, management. Life cycle yeah. management and then you mm -hmm. can make a run book and publish in the marketplace right let's yeah uh, which is Apple called Center. cam right and so this is another uh, product yes okay of the Nutanix, Nutanix right okay. and uh, like cyber security is becoming very very uh, challenging right yeah uh, so to sophisticated protect sophisticated mm -hmm. uh, tax and so and so right so mm -hmm. in order to protect since you are consolidating everything you should be very conscious about your cyber security mm -hmm. so uh, the lateral movement uh, which mm -hmm. we will talk about so uh, east west east traffic west right traffic. east okay. west traffic mm -hmm. so for that you have to protect from one one VM to another VM, right? You should okay. inspect or uh, so like even, control. Even the multiple VMs are in same network. Yes, they can be inspected. Yes, that can okay. that needs to be inspected, right? Okay. In order to inspect that, you have to have a uh, flow, okay. right? Okay. And uh, the another workload would be the file server. So this is also called micro segmentation, right? This is also called the micro segmentation, micro segmentation right? Uh, and uh, another technology. services uh, which is very popular is the files, files, right? Okay. So what is the problem of files? Is like you know people are uh, storing files into NAS, right? Mm -hmm. NAS kind of devices, yeah. mm -hmm. and they don't have any visibility. They don't have what kind of files are stored. How long uh, this okay. those files are not being used, right? So, so it's like the, the data are uh, dumped there. Yes, you never. You never visibility. know, like uh, you know, what kind of data, how long data are not being used, right? Mm -hmm. So will it work or not? Yes, right. you you can make uh, 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 Nutanix HCI uh, into Nutanix HCI. You can make a one file server file which server. gives like uh, 360 okay. degree uh, uh, view of visibility, uh, visibility right? Of your files, uh, files. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what else? Any anything else like? Oh uh, yes, I mean like uh, there is something called multi-cloud as I mm -hmm. said, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you must be having in futures or like you must be having uh, private cloud and public cloud and mm -hmm. another challenge would be like how you are going to manage the uh, okay. multi -cloud, multiple yeah. cloud. Because there are different uh, environments. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. So which helps. Uh, you can manage, uh, you know, Nuta and through the Nutanix console, you can manage your private cloud and public cloud okay. uh, from the same through a single console. console. Single console that's, yes. that's really helpful. Yes. And uh, is there any service uh, solutions uh, regarding storage? Uh, storage. Or backup. Yes. Storage. Uh, I mean, like uh, you know, you can uh, make uh, storage. Uh, like uh, there are kind I mean like uh, if you talk about storage mm -hmm. that three types of storage which is like files which mm -hmm. we uh, mm -hmm. just talked about and mm -hmm. uh, there is something called uh, block storage right okay. uh, which is very mm -hmm. common storage and then mm -hmm. uh, now the S3 compatibles are object storage right okay. so I would like to add more about the object storage right so mm -hmm. uh, object storage uh, helps uh, one of the 
biggest use case for in our cases are like uh, you can use object storage for the backup data backup okay. data backup mm -hmm. which uh, which is as good as storing data into tip there is something mm -hmm. called uh, <coughs> warm features in object mm -hmm. storage mm -hmm. uh, right once, once in multiples, multiples which okay. makes your <coughs> Sorry, your so, so the data cannot be uh, written or like you, once it is written, then it cannot be. Uh, okay. They can only read. Uh, they can only read, right? Read the data. Read the data. Uh, ransomware protections. One of the best features of object storage is the warm protection so, from ransomware attacks. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Nutanix, being a leaders. Or innovators. I mean, Innovator. CIA in fact started okay. by the in 2009, mm -hmm. right? Uh, since the beginning, uh, they are the uh, Gartner leaders for us, you know, mm -hmm. third party, all the third party okay. uh, Gartner leaders. So, Nutanix being established in 2009, Gartner started the, their analysis of HCI in 2016. 16, I guess, I, I think guess, 16, yeah. right? So, uh, so we can see how Nutanix uh, started its journey. Yes. Right. So mm -hmm. they started very early and then they are innovating on, they are now beyond the HCI. Mm -hmm. They are now innovating a lot of things mm -hmm. which, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, make sure the experience, mm -hmm. public cloud like experience in your data centers. Into our data center. Yes. And okay. you can even like uh, uh, consume the Nutanix clustering mm -hmm. to the public cloud like mm -hmm. GCP or uh, Amazon. Amazon or Amazon. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, if uh, that was about HCI technology and more about uh, the Nutanix uh, solutions, uh, we uh, really hope that uh, it was uh, really helpful for all the peoples uh, who are new to this technology. So uh, what I would like to ask is uh, when a customer, when an organization is going uh, for HCI solution in their own data center, then uh, why should they choose DNS, like our company, uh, to being a partner for their infrastructure modernization? What's there in our uh, okay. team? Well, so uh, like, you know, digital network solutions, why it is, that's a very good question, right? So mm -hmm. if you want to uh, become, a, I mean, if you want to success in your digital transformation journey, then mm -hmm. uh, better off is your partner, right? So how yes. competent your partners, how good they are into technology, right? Mm -hmm. So are really, uh, are they really capable enough? Yeah, technical uh, Capabilities, technical capabilities first, right yeah. so i believe uh, those are uh, the answers which you have asked why digital network solutions mm -hmm. right so number one digital network solutions is the uh, iso certified company right and uh, second is the professional services which is the uh, key mm -hmm. differentiator of digital network solutions digital right solution. and uh, third is the post deployment support right so mm -hmm. we uh, are like you know we have our one uh, ticketing systems and now which can be accessed mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. our websites or mobile app mm -hmm. right uh, mm -hmm. and uh, all certified sources right certified, and yeah. the good news uh, which we have uh, signed up with the nutanix is the you know professional service partner for the APAC mm -hmm. region, right? So mm -hmm. we are not only uh, limiting yeah. ourselves to Nepal, we are going like uh, global, global, global as well. Yes, local Nepal to global area. is the, you know, yeah. Uh, motto, I mean, like mm -hmm. a vision of the mm -hmm. digital network solutions, right? Yes. I hope I, I yes. answer your question. So the main uh, part is that our technical resources are capable enough yes, yes, to yes. deploy any kind of workloads in their uh, data center. In yes, we did now. around like uh, 14 plus uh, deployment. Uh, Deployments already, yes. yes. Uh, uh, across yes. all the industries from mm -hmm. uh, telecom to, you know, banking to mm -hmm. enterprise, mm -hmm. government, right? Mm -hmm. So healthcare, even healthcare, healthcare, as, well. healthcare as well, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, with these uh, facts, uh, our viewers would be knowing, uh, would be more conscious about uh, how they have to choose their partner, a yes. deployment partner, before going with any product. Right? Yes. So uh, that was uh, very much beneficial to us and to our viewers as well, I guess. So thank you, Arun. Thank you for your yes. time. Thank you. Thank you, Gopal. Thank uh, you. It's so a we'll, great we'll news. It is. see you in the next video because we are coming up with this kind of tech talks videos a lot in future. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.